and welcome back to part two of the paper wall clock. Here I've got the great gear that I was talking about, the drive gear with its pulley system right here. Now this pulley system allows us to wind the clock, it winds up the weight, and yet it doesn't let the rest of the mechanism turn on the, on the clock. Now, the gears of the great wheel will turn the pinions here on the secondary gear. So that the drive continues right through the gears. And then this smaller gear will be turning the escapement wheel and transferring the power to that. Now, here's our escapement wheel. It's got the pinion on it. And then it's also got the curved teeth that will catch the escapement lever and here's the escapement lever this is what goes back and forth and it actually it stops and then it and then it gives an impulse to the pendulum now here's the connector for the pendulum and what this does is this allows us to transfer the the swing of the pendulum up into the escapement lever now we've got the great wheel and the secondary gear already assembled and inside and making sure that it turns good. And I've got some temporary axles on there and everything's looking pretty good so far. So we want to make sure that it doesn't bind up anywhere. It's better to have a little loose than a little tight. Now I've attached the escapement gear up to the top. And you can see how the energy is transferred from the great wheel to the secondary gear to the escapement gear. And this will allow us to keep our time. Now when the escapement lever is attached, then as the pendulum swings back and forth, it stops the escapement and lets it go. Stops and lets it go and that's because of the way a pendulum works, it's perfectly timed every time. And then there's energy that is transferred from the escapement lever back to the pendulum, and that keeps it going. And finally, we've got the attachment here, and this allows us to attach the pendulum arm with the bob on it, which we will be working on a little bit later on. And now I want to talk a little bit about the pulley system, if I can. Okay, what I'm going to do now is show you how the, the pulley system works. I made a, a small ring here. And like that would be the, the actual... The, the tube, the base that, that the pulley will be on, the axle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one piece and I'm going to glue it just at one end. I'm going to let the other end wrap around. I'll show that to you as soon as, I, as, soon as the glue dries. Alright, so now what I've done is I took our tube and I glued this piece on it, okay? It just glued it the one just up here, and the, and the other part is going to wrap around, and we're not going to glue that part. We're going to let that just hang in there free. Okay? And while I'm at it, I just... Now, I don't endorse any products. I'm not... I'm just... I'm doing this stuff, and I'm letting you know how I'm doing it. That might help you. You, you know, you have your own things and that, but... I know in the past when people have said, hey, I know this works good, it, it saves you a lot of time from trying to find other things. It saves you money. I use a stuff called uh, Zip Dry. <clears throat> and I got it at uh, uh, Joanne Fabrics because they got a lot of stuff that you can work with paper for the people that do scrapbooking and that. So that's always a, that's a good source for a lot of things. That's where I got the... That's where I got this uh, needles, knitting needles to for my axles, you know, reasonable, good places, close. So that's what I use. I use this stuff here, this paper glue. 
uh, it's real reasonable. And so far, this whole thing, uh, this whole project that I've done so far, you know, I'm not even halfway through the bottle yet. So that's that's pretty good, and it kind of it works really fast. So I've taken this. Now I've got one piece. It gets wrapped around like that and not glued though, it's just, it's steady. Now I'm gonna take another piece and I'm gonna put around it and I'm gonna show you that in just a second. All right, now what I've, what I've done is, is made another ring and this would be the, the outer wrap that, that the actual um, lines will be hooked to. Like for instance, the weight will be wrapped around this way coming down and on the other part, the pulley ring will be wrapped this way. So when you pull the pulley down, this will spin like it would, to you it would be spinning clockwise. As it spins clockwise, it winds the weight around it. Now, if you didn't have a way of stopping it, as soon as you let go of the, the pulley ring, the weight would let it, let it fall. So we, that's what the escapement's for. The escapement keeps the time. Now, when we pull the ring and bring the weight up, we don't want all the gears and everything spinning with it. So this has to spin free one way, but yet it has to hook going the other so it, it provides the energy to the great wheel so the, the, the whole clock will run. And this is what this is this is what this is all about. Now there's a lip inside of here, like when I glued it, you know, when you glue a piece over and one piece fits over the other, there's a little area right there that sticks out. Now that's going to be caught by this loose piece here that we just put on before. So this is wrapped like this. And your other part is slid over that. I made it nice and tight because it you can't it has to be able to grab. Okay. So now we've got this would be our full assembly. And if you notice, the top part is turning this way. And why? Because the two edges are sliding over it smoothly. But if you go to turn it the other way, it grabs that it grabs that lip that we put in there and the whole thing turns. So this way now the whole thing would be turning and it would be moving the movements and, and turn the great wheel and the great wheel provides energy. And then when it, when the weight runs out, we need to rewind it. Then we pull on this side and it spins freely and it pulls the weight and wraps the weight. So it's like a clutch. It runs that, and we go to turn this way, it won't slip. So that, I just wanted to show you that part of it. Uh, so you understand how the, how the mechanism in here is working to turn the great wheel. So when the one is, is pulled, the other one comes up, and none of these have to turn while that's happening. Okay, that's all I wanted to tell you. I hope that's I hope that was interesting and and it gave you some help and an idea of, of the inner workings of how it's actually uh, how it's actually working. I look forward to seeing you here next time on Do It Yourself at Home where we continue working on the paper wall clock. Till then, God bless. Mm -hmm.